Robert Sanchez, great to speak to you. My name's Adam, speaking uh, to you all the way from Malaysia. How are you today, sir? Good, I'm good. Finished training already, so I feel great. Yeah, looking forward to, to getting back to action, I guess you could say. It's been a bit of a tricky start to Chelsea's campaign, but I'm sure you're looking to pick things up this weekend, right? Exactly, that's what we need to do. Um, we learn from the mistakes that we had in the last games, and we're looking forward to the next one. We, have, we still have a long week to prepare the game and that's what we're going to do and try to get three points in the weekend. Let's go back a little bit, not too long ago, your move to Chelsea. I'm sure moving to Chelsea, you didn't need any convincing, but did you speak to the players that you knew already at the club? Um, yeah, I spoke to a couple, but I mean, I always maintain relationship with Cucurella. Obviously, I know goalkeeping coach Ben Roberts, which he has a different role now that he used to have in Brighton. Um, but yeah, I spoke to them, but I always know uh, from Cucurella situation here and obviously after meeting a couple of the member of the staff and the manager this this was the choice that I had to make it was the the plan that they showed to me on the table for the future and the, the people that they were going to bring in and the the potential that the team was going to have to to get up there again it was I couldn't say no you know I saw your video which Chelsea posted your first time to Cobham what was it like for you to see it uh you mentioned that you had been there as a teenager to play a friendly but now you're a Chelsea player must have been a special feeling yeah I mean it was different when I came as a young player I wasn't even in this side I was on the academy side probably playing but no it was it was unbelievable it's a dream come true play for for the best team in England um, and one of the best teams on the planet it's, it's unbelievable feeling to to finally get to this level and it's for I, I mean I believe every player works for their whole life and it's difficult to get here, but now that I'm here, I just need to take the opportunity and, and try to become the player that I know that I can be. Yeah. And historically speaking, Chelsea have produced so many brilliant goalkeepers. Petr Cech, arguably the greatest in Premier League history, does must be something unique to be able to step into the goal, knowing Petr Cech was a predecessor of yours beforehand. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not, it's not many number ones for Chelsea uh, for the years, so... Now that I'm the one, I'm just trying to do my best, trying to, trying to get everything out of myself and with the help of the manager, teammates, I'm obviously myself in training every day. Uh, I want to become uh, one of these, of these legends that everybody's going to remember and, and, and do great for the club. What about your friendship with uh, Mark Cucurella, Moises Casado, because of your history together at Brighton? Is there a close relationship between the three of you? Yeah, of course, uh, really close, especially we play in Brighton. We are young and we are Spanish talkers. So uh, we've always been on the, on the little group that, that we've really been enjoying for the years together. And we always had lunch together. I know the, it's little things like that, but that's what creates relationships. And obviously, for the years, we, we have become close. And, and obviously, now we're playing together on a bigger team and on a team that that was a dream to, to achieve to, to get to. And now we're here together and we're going to do it great. Do you guys hang out together off the pitch? Do you guys have, I don't know, barbecues, whatever it might be? We we, we, we do barbecues sometimes, yeah. But obviously, at the end of the day, we we grown ups, we got families. Cucurella got three kids. Um, we got one on the way, the, on, the younger one, which is still a bit free, is Moises. But the rest of us got, got our things to do. But every time we can, you know, we, we try to do um, little barbecues and, and everything. So no time really to enjoy other activities like PlayStation or anything, because I'm sure kids will keep you very busy. Uh, we, we, I don't have the kit yet. It's on the way. It's, it's coming in December. Oh, okay. but, but yeah, we, we like, we like uh, to, to have obviously our, our own time and to, to play on PS5 sometimes with friends and we can talk on headset and, and to go out to town and and go around the shopping center. Obviously, it's more difficult the more known you are, but we still try to do it. And of course, but as soon as I get my kid, I won't have that. Yeah, I'll give you some advice. I became a father four months ago. Enjoy your time now, Robert. Enjoy it now while you can. That's my biggest piece of advice I can give you. I try. I know everybody tells me how difficult it is, but at least I got my, my missus, which is, which is great, and she's gonna take great care of the kids. But obviously, I'll be, I'll be next to her helping a lot. When it comes to Mauricio Pochettino, he's got a reputation for building young and dynamic teams, teams that can last for the next half decade to a 
to a decade. That must be really exciting for you personally as a young goalkeeper to be part of this project as well, knowing this is a long-term thing for you. Exactly, and this was why I, my choice was 100% Chelsea because the, the plan that they have, the players that they bring in, young team, but we have a lot of potential, a lot of quality already. And obviously, if it's this good already, how much better I can get? Yeah, it's true, we haven't got the results that we should have got, but we all knew here, we know, we know what we can do. We know how good we can be and, and it's super exciting for the next literally seven, eight, nine years to come, how many great things we can do together. Yeah. For those that are watching now the interview with you, I think people might be surprised how long you've actually been in England for. Your English is fluent. You have this English-Spanish accent. You've been in England so long. I mean, can you just talk me through how long you've actually been in the country for? How long you've been in the system for there? I think it is 10 years in November. I think it's 10 years in November. So it's been quite quite a while to say that when I came my first year to Brighton back then, I couldn't even say, how are you or I'm hungry. So I've learned a lot about the culture and about the language, obviously. So it's, it's, been, it's been some journey. I can imagine that. And I mean, you would have seen the evolution of Brighton when you were there. That That, that was also something which was remarkable for all football fans to see how far Brighton came and you were a huge part of that success. Yeah, no, I think I think Brighton as a club is is done unbelievable. Um since I went there, uh, they were on championship and a couple of years before that they were on League One. Um uh, new training ground they build, new stadium, they're improving, they're investing, the players are doing great and they got promoted and they kept winning and doing better every season and they got to uh, Euro finally, and, and now I think they yeah they keep getting better. But for me personally, I'm focusing on Chelsea now, and that's that's my goal now, and I want to improve here. Yeah, um, I got about a minute and a half left. I just want to know what is your style of goalkeeping? How would you summarize the Robert Sanchez way of goalkeeping? Your philosophy? Um, I always consider myself a whole around goalkeeper. Uh, I feel like I can uh, play out the back and, and and do well with the team, keeping possession. I feel like I'm quite positive when it comes to covering the space and the area for crosses, um, being aggressive, uh, and I feel like covering the goal as well. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, it's one of my strengths. Yeah, it's true that maybe I concede uh, eight shots and concede five goals, but sometimes that's just football. Uh, but I always believe in myself that I can, I can do better and, and better, and I will do better. Okay. I you're, you're a confident player. I, I, I understand that. Uh, do you have any personal goals on the pitch as a goalkeeper? Or for the future or for now? Uh, just for the season or for the future, whatever it might be. Obviously, as a goalkeeper, you always want to keep as most clean sheets as possible. So that's my goal, to concentrate every game, game by game, and just try to not concede any goals and help the team win at least. Because the, 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 the minimum we can get if I keep a clean sheet is a draw. If I don't keep a clean sheet, it's a loss. So at least that helps the team. All right. Final question here. Uh, Chelsea is a huge club all around the world. Here in Malaysia, it's exactly the same case. Do you have a message for all the Blues fans in my country? A message is to keep supporting us. Uh, we are a great team that we're going to do great and, and just be patient sometimes. But we, we're going to get there as soon as we can. And I'm going to get back to great days and great... Um, and great times. Perfect. I want to wish you the best for the season, the best for your journey into fatherhood. It's really something just extraordinary. And we'll see you soon. Okay, Robert? Thank you, mate. Cheers.